welcome to all this is engineering mechanics class number 53 part 2 lecture 12 this all you already know it now last class we considered some two laws law of triangle of forces and also law of polygon of forces they are minor part but subject point of view i told it then we considered very powerful theorem that is Lamy's theorem. So today we are going to, we even, I explained Lamy's theorem, I proved it also. Now we are going for application, application of Lamy's theorem or application for Lamy's theorem. But before we start application, let us have a recap once again. See, let us first fully understand Lamy's theorem. There are some requirements are there, see correctly. This is actually repetition. Consider three forces. Remember, only three. Later, if there are four forces are there, I will still apply Lamy's theorem. What I will do is, two of them will be collinear. I replace them by one single force. So, but when you apply Lamy's theorem, you, you should apply only with three forces. See, consider three forces, P1, P2 and P3. See, this P1, P2, P3, your choice. P1, P2, P3, PQ, or X1, X2, X3, XYZ, any name. Three forces, P1, P2, P3, passing through a point. See, very important. Passing through a point, say O, in equilibrium. So, Lamy's theorem can be applied. Three forces should be there. They should be in equilibrium and concurrent. Then, with angles, theta 1 between P2 and P3. See, force P1, theta 1 is between other two forces. Theta 2 between P3 and P1, theta 3 between P1 and P2 as shown. See here, P1, P2, P3. P1, P2, P3. For P1, angle theta 1. For P2, theta 2. P3, theta 3. Same here. Then, by Lamy's theorem, P1 by sin theta 1, equal to P2 by sin theta 2 equal to P3 by sin theta 3. Theorem statement is each force is proportional to sin of the angle between other two forces. Now, very, very important. Two points are there. This Lamy's theorem can be applied considering only three forces. Passing through a point. They should pass through a point. That is, it should be concurrent. And also, the force system should be in equilibrium. You cannot apply Lamy's theorem to find resultant. So the given force system consisting of three forces, all of them should pass to one point. That force system should be in equilibrium. Second one, when you apply Lamy's theorem, all forces, three forces, should either act, should act either away from the point or act towards the point. Or simple language, you can write all should be either outgoing or incoming. See, it is not telephone. Outgoing, in, see, outgoing or incoming. That is, see, one fourth here, one fourth here, one fourth here. See now, this is as per your figure one earlier. See here, figure one earlier. Right here. Three, you should write, three forces are there. Yes. One first cover. They should pass through a point. Second one. And it should be in equilibrium. And all should act away from the point. Yes. Right means, okay, you can apply Lamy's theorem. Same here also. See, three forces, all incoming. You can apply. But, see, but, see here. One force goes this way, one this way, one this way. No. Not okay. You cannot apply Lamy's theorem in the present form. Of course, you can apply by doing some modification, I will explain. See, or you can write here, see, three forces correct, concurrent correct. If there is equilibrium, everything satisfied, except that all should act away or towards is not satisfied. So, for that one, you can go for some modification. I will explain later. Over. This is points to be understood for applying Lamy's theorem. Now, we will go for application.
start question 1 find the values of p and q for equilibrium see they told for equilibrium over sketch is given now i did not waste time a given force system consists of three forces etc words are not required sketch will do later i will tell the problem when something is suspended and supported by cable all wire how to find tension i will explain okay start first class four requirements are there i told requirement number 1 you should write it they should be concurrent first requirement okay first satisfied second only three forces yes only three forces over then they should be in equilibrium yes in the question they told for equilibrium and lastly to apply all forces should be either act all forces should either act away from the point or towards the point yes all are acting away therefore everything passed okay you can apply lamis theorem yes right start put right sketch here see in lamis theorem we don't consider angle with the x x y y we want included angle see here p this angle 140 degrees this is 125 degrees so this angle i should not explain total 360 subtract these two you get this one okay now by lamis theorem see here p divided by opposite angle sin 125 equal to q divided by sin 140 equal to 80 divided by sin 95 now how to solve sometime i have seen some offline classes sorry online classes they will write one by one let us first consider p by sin 25 equal to 80 by sin 95 they will write somewhere then they will write p equal to 80 by sin 95 into sin 125 they will write 80 into something divided by something equal to something then they will consider this one it is all waste of time people who are going to this class they are engineers or studying engineering that much time need not be wasted in the class see therefore see what you do next time i won't tell use this to see use this to p equal to those who want to write therefore see if you want to write therefore p equal to q equal to see use this to and get the value of p and use this to and get the value of q right there p equal to 80 by sin 95 into sin 125 if you want to show the calculation same way q equal to 80 by sin 95 into sin 140 show the calculation answer is 80 divided by sin 95 into sin 125 that is 65.782 sin also equal plus 65.78 i will tell you why sin is important sometime negative sign will come it shows direction is to be reversed therefore be careful write side also and q equal to 80 divided by sin 95 equal to into sin 140 51.619 one i got doubt first one did i put equal there or not i'll check it 80 divided by sin 95 equal to into sin 140 correct so we got the value of p and q for equilibrium question 1 is very simple slowly we will go to more and more questions more and more concept will be covered more questions mean more concept now oh question number 2 i forgot to change it question number 2 question for the given force system find the value of x and y you can't tell last time you told p and q that is last time see arrangement given here little angle you should be careful okay put the sketch see this point later right there later see first before that one all forces the only hello first of all should be concurrent force system yes concurrent only three forces yes three forces it should be in equilibrium equilibrium and all should be either outgoing or incoming 
लास्ट क्लास आउट गोइंग दिस टाइम इन कमिंग यस ऑल ओवर सो देर फोर यस लामी तेरम कैन बी अप्लाइड लेट दिस पॉइंट बी वो यू कैन नाइट इन द क्वेश्चन नॉट गिवन यू मेक ए नोट इयर लेट दैट पॉइंट बी वो ओके टू टेस्ट कैच इयर वाई फिफ्टी एक्स नौ बी वेरी केरफुल फर्स्ट ऑफ आल फॉर समन हु इज आलरेडी एन इंजीनियर और स्टडिंग इंजीनियरिंग I need not explain how this angle. You see, it is not to scale. This came 70 degrees. It looks like more than 90. Not to scale. It will be actually something like this. Okay, calculator cannot see those things. Okay, still see. I first I should not tell. You. Before going there, do one thing. What we want you right here. We do not want these angles. We want what? For Lamy's theorem, we want this angle, this angle, and this angle. Therefore, see here. Point O is here, Y is here. This is Y. This is scale is not required. This is 50 newton. This is Y, and this is X. This way, X. X. See what they told. They told this angle is 20 degrees. This angle is all the again vertical. How much it is? This is. 40 degrees i'll put neatly there why one confusion nisha why okay now correct this angle is 40 degrees then they told this angle is 20 degrees now do one thing if this is 20 degrees see if this is see complete the triangle here if this is 40 this is 20 undoubtedly this angle is total is 180 see there's a triangle here 180 minus 20 minus 40. So this angle will be. I write here this angle is 180 minus 20 minus 40. That's how I got 120 degree. See here. Okay. Now this angle required. See here. If this is 20 degrees, see here. If I complete here. If I draw a line here. See this way. If this is or why simply you can do here only. See? If this is forty degrees, this angle is fifty degrees. If this is twenty degrees, this angle is what? This is twenty degrees means this is out of scale seventy degrees because ah, sorry, if it is twenty out of scale, this is seventy degrees. Why? Tot this is ninety here. If it is forty, this angle is. 50 degrees. So, 180 minus 70 minus 50. So, 70 plus 50 is how much? 120. How it is? 20 degrees, 70 degrees. 40 means 50. Something wrong here. One minute. Some calculation wrong. Oh, this is 30 degrees. See? Oh, see some confusion. Not confusion. 30 degrees. If that is 30, this is 60 degrees. See here. This is total is 180. 180 minus 30 minus what? 50. 50 plus 30. 60 plus 50 is 110 degrees. 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. How much it is? You can tell 180 minus 60 minus how much it is? 50. Or you can do one thing. See, this is 30 degrees. This is 40 degrees. So see directly here, directly here. If this is 40, this is also 40. If this is 30, this is also 30. So you can directly write 40 plus 30. Anything will do. 30. It will come 70 degrees. Now, last angle, your choice. Do one thing. Once you get these two angles, 360 minus that, you will get it. But do one thing. Better check it. What to do is see now. This is 20 degrees. Therefore, see here. If I draw a line here, if this is 20, this is also 20 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees. So this full angle will be 90 plus 20, 110 plus another 60. That is 170 degrees. That's how I got 170. Or you can do one thing. First, you find out this angle as 120 degrees. This angle you got how much it is? This angle you got 70 degrees. Once you get these two, 
this angle equal to 360 minus 120 minus 70 120 plus 70 that is how much? It is 170. Yeah? Correct. It should be. Actually, why check it? 360 minus 120 minus 70. It is eh? 360 minus 120 minus 70. 170 degrees. Okay. Now, first of all, this much time is wasted. Someone will comment. These all we know it. Okay. Leave it. Now, over question. Apply Lamy's theorem. See x divided by sin 70 equal to y divided by sin 170 equal to 50 divided by sin 120. Use, use these two, get x, then use these two and get y. Right here. Solution by Lamy's theorem is over. Now, make a note. I will dictate something. You can also solve by basic conditions of static equilibrium. Right there. Therefore, of course, the Amis theorem is also based on equilibrium only. Therefore, this already we considered earlier. So, see earlier we considered the same questions we considered. We are not Lamis theorem. But if you remember one of the questions there, I told you later Lamis theorem. Okay, now class. If you are applying basic condition of static equilibrium, I told something in my class. To avoid confusion, write the forces. Mark x, x, y, y. I told so many, so many times, consider the angle with the nearest horizontal. See, if this is 40, this angle is 50 degrees. If this is 30, this angle is 60 degrees. If it is 20, this angle is 70 degrees. Now, if you resolve, see here, down up here left hand up here right hand down okay now i should stop sigma fx zero take right side positive minus x cos 70 minus y cos 50 plus 50 cos 60 equal to zero when you write equation x and y left hand side constant should go to that side for a calculator so it will become minus equation one sigma fy zero plus x sin 70 minus y sin 50 minus 50 sin 60 0 take to other side equation number 2 solve x and y solve for x and y using calculator when you go to calculator mode you enter these values see you go to calculator mode when it asks here write minus cos 70 no notice see there minus cos 70 minus cos 50 right minus 50 into cos 60 then second row sin 70 minus sin 50 so 50 into sin 60 that is all i will solve now see why should i waste my time solving otherwise let me see is there any problem in the world where lamy's theorem and based on equilibrium we get different answer right here oh perfectly telling what telling i copied same answer that is called confidence. You solve, you will get the answer. Question number two over. Now, I will consider question number three and one extra homework for you, question number four. Then next class I will continue for some more concept questions. I will write the question. Today's class very easy, but everything is important. Now, question 3, find the values of P1 and P2 for equilibrium. Some angle problem. See, initially I am solving simple question. Okay, right. Class, concurrent, yes. Only three forces, yes. Equilibrium, question only given. Lastly, all should be outgoing or incoming, all outgoing, all past. Lamis can be applied. Put a sketch. Now I won't explain too much. See, we want this angle. See there. Correctly. This, this angle we want. Total 180. From 180, subtract 42, subtract 28, you will get 110 degrees. You should write it. Those who are serious. We want 
this angle the this full angle we want that is 42 plus 90 plus 20 that's how i got 152 now this angle we want either you go for 360 minus these two, some of these two but better check it if this is 28 degrees this is 20 degrees see this is 20 this is 70 degrees so 70 plus 28 is 98 degrees now nothing is there p1 by sin 152 equal to p2 by sin 110 equal to 50 by sin 98 solving you get p1 p2 make a note over right here lamy's theorem over show by solve by equilibrium one more sketch required see now this sketch will not do in that sketch you write this sketch once again where instead of this 20 degrees you mark this 70 degrees you should write this sketch you have to write there if you are serious now see sigma fx minus p1 cos 28 minus p2 cos 70 plus 50 cos 42 equal to 0 equation number 1 now simplification you should do it sigma fy 0 plus p1 sin 28 minus p2 sin 70 plus 50 sin 42 equal to 0 solving you get p1 p2 i will solve using back side of calculator p1 will come plus 23 point let me see uh, correct light is not proper uh, yes now correct plus 23 point see these are all called confidence plus 47 point 446 newton oh perfectly tallying answer over now before closing one homework i will give you you work out that one homework or exercise problem with the direct answer i will not explain much for that one just a minute Question number 4, it is exercise you have to solve, find the value of F1 and F2 for equilibrium. See, purpose is to practice. Okay, start. Question given here. You should solve all three forces. Yes, okay. Concurrent. Yes. Equilibrium in the question given. All are incoming. So, everything is okay. You can apply. See here. This angle we want, but I should not explain. Okay. If it is 60 degrees, Total 180, how you got 120 degrees. If it is 70, this also 70, 70 plus 60 is 130 degrees. Now, if this is 70, see these are parallel lines, this is 110 degrees. You add all the three, you will get 360 degrees. Now apply Lamy's theorem. F1 by sin 110 equal to F2 by sin 120 equal to 200 by sin 130, get the answer. Or, go back to equilibrium problem there i will dictate here see we want angle with horizontal yes with the horizontal given sigma fx zero you should write it minus f1 cos 60 minus f2 cos 70 plus 200 equal to zero equation number one why i am telling first because it is already over so many times first of all i need not tell sigma f y zero minus f1 sin 60 plus f2 sin 70 this will not come equal to 0 two equations will come solve answer uh, my guarantee same as this answer now thoroughly practice all these questions and be well versed with the Lamy's theorem next time we will go for more important question and like two cables are there suspended something and I will take a case of problem with four forces but what I should do of the four two of them I will make collinear then they you should replace them by a single force then I will take a question where some force are outgoing some are incoming uh, then some modification required so one more class and one more thing today's class angles are directly given their distances are given so some angles you have to calculate so next class is going to be with more concept coverage okay thank you we will meet in the next class